This, if you're a fan like me, you'll agree that Just Good Friends is among the best sitcoms ever. So do you want to join me today? Grab a chair, sit by the campfire, and we'll live this great show together. We'll travel through the entire cast, past and present, reminiscing about those who have left us and celebrating those who still shine. Are you ready? Let's dive in and rekindle some incredible memories. Bill Wallace played the character AJ in the sitcom when he was 47 in 1983. Sadly, on September 6, 2013, he left us due to a stroke at the age of 76 in Bath, Somerset, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. Is everybody calls you Nobby? <laughs> Nobby? Yes, Nobby. Why should people call me Nobby? Well, start. Nobby. It's not personal. And it's not a democracy either. What am I on trial here? Yeah? Look, you make your decisions, then I, as senior partner, will let you know if I agree with Linda Hayden played the character Sonia in the sitcom when she was 30 years old in 1983. See, at 71 years old, she's living a fulfilling life with a passion right here in Stanmore, UK. Yeah. Psychiatrist said he only stabs people to hide his basic shyness. <laughs> oh, well, as uh, long as he doesn't mean it, that's the main thing. True is innocent. Patrick Weimark. Lovely man. Sweetheart he was. Um, he was the main part of the film. Jen Francis played the character Penny Warrender in the sitcom when she was 36 in 1983. See, at the age of 76, she is living a fulfilling life with a passion right here in London, England. Carry on. Thank you. Pen Before you go any further... Oh, God almighty. Is it anything to do with what happened in your flat last night? No. Yes, because I've had personal contact with the women's hospice and I just feel it's one of the most important things. Richard Heffer played the character Adrian in the sitcom when he was 40 years old in 1986. See, at the age of 77, he is living a fulfilling life with a passion right here in Cambridge, UK. Rumors like that are not going to help. Oh God, I'm going to ring Helen now and tell her to stop spreading malicious gossip. No, I, I wouldn't interfere. I mean, you know Helen's temper. As I was uh, telling your fiancé earlier, Overnight, your baby had a small cerebral bleed. Paul Nicholas played the character Vin Spinner in the sitcom when he was 39 in 1983. See, at 79 years old, he is living a fulfilling life with a passion right here in Peterborough, England. Do this, do that, be here, go there, stand up, sit down. They were programming me like a microchip. By the time I walked down that aisle, I'd have looked like metal bloody Mickey. <laughs> So it's something that I think is very special to theatre and, and, um, and really works, judging from, from the audience's reaction so far. Now, Zoe, you, you, you work with Zoe very... Derek Newark played the character Eddie Brown in the sitcom when he was 51 in 1984. Sadly, on August 11, 1998, he left us due to liver failure at 65 in Bath, Somerset, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. You're a saucy bastard. That's why I like you, Vinny. Not right to put me in my place. You? A movie star? Not yet, but I intend to be. You gotta be dreaming. Dreaming? Mm -hmm. Starting a new career at 51. I've gotta have... Richenda Carey played the character Hilary Styles in the sitcom when he was 36 in 1984. See, at 75 years old, he is living a fulfilling life with a passion right here in Bitten, UK. Oh, Stretch. Thank you. Graham tells me you're a secretary, Penny, is that right? Well, I was, but I gave up work when I got married. If you decide to go... Trying to smother me. And you think this is Lamont's ghost tormenting you from beyond the grave? Of course I bloody don't. Anne Lynn played the character Rita Pinner in the sitcom when she was 51 in 1984. Sadly, on August 30th, 2020, she left us of natural causes at 86 in London, England. We are deeply saddened by her passing. What do you think they put doors in this thing for, Clifford? Don't keep on it in Les. Well, put the hood up, love. Looks like rain. Clifford, you... 
Sylvia Kay played the character Mrs. Warrender in the sitcom when she was 47 in 1983. Sadly, on January 18, 2019, she left us due to cancer at 82 in London, England. We are deeply saddened by her passing. Decent man, a, a sober, law-abiding chap with a future, or failing that, a one-legged Chinese kitchen hand with hepatitis. <laughs> John Ringham played the character Norman Warrender in the sitcom when he was 55 in 1983. Sadly, on October 20th, 2008, he left us of natural causes at the age of 80 in London, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. Catch the hose. <laughs> I'm gonna help Penny. You most certainly are not. This is her problem. Darling, I think it would be rather better if I were to undress him rather than Penny. It Sean Curry played the character Les Spinner in the sitcom when he was 46 in 1983. Sadly, on July 7, 2009, he left us due to a stroke at 72 in Bracknell, UK. We are deeply saddened by his passing. He doesn't know that, does he? So what do you want me to do? Take me cup to the restaurant with me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. So what are you going to do? Well, I won't go. Charlotte Alexander played the character Georgina in the sitcom when she was 32 in 1986. See, at 69 years old, she is living a fulfilling life with a passion right here in England, UK. Je veux tu donc, mon enfant? Je veux être heureuse. Je suis là, je ne te laisserai pas. Ed Bishop played the character Vernon in the sitcom when he was 54 in 1986. Sadly, on June 8, 2005, he left us with a chest infection at the age of 72 in Kingston-upon-Thames, Surrey, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. The Harlington was plucked out of the uh, phone book by, <sighs> by Tony Barwick, and uh, I think that's all the story there is to it. There is no... Well, I think... Okay, let's chat. Who is your favorite character in Just Good Friends? Please comment and share interesting things below this video. And as always, show some love. Hit the like button, subscribe to know more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content. I can't wait to create more wonderful memories with you. Thanks so much and stay tuned for more. See you again as soon as possible.